everyone welcome to our channel ask prep in today's series on 11th grade chemistry we will be studying chapter 4 chemical bonding and molecular structure in detail let's start the video what is a chemical bond a chemical bond is the force that holds different atoms together in a molecule what is octet rule atoms of different elements participate in chemical combinations in order to complete their octet or attain the noble gas configuration what is valence electrons valence electrons are the outermost shell electrons that participate in chemical bonding next is modes of chemical combinations first is sharing of electrons covalent bond a covalent bond is formed by the equal sharing of electrons between two atoms with electrons being contributed by both second is coordinate bond dative bond a coordinate bond or dative bond occurs when electrons are contributed by one atom but shared by both third is ionic or electrovalent bond this bond is formed through the complete transfer of electrons from one atom to another typically between metals and nonmetals it is the electrostatic force of attraction that holds oppositely charged ions together let's understand with the example of formation of sodium chloride sodium has atomic number 11 and chlorine has atomic number 17 the electronic configuration of sodium becomes 281 whereas chlorine becomes 287 287 now in this case sodium loses its one electron to chlorine both of them become stabilized so in the last shell of sodium there has eight electrons because it loses and chlorine receives that one electron from sodium to achieve its electron configuration which is 2 887 now becomes 2 88 the oppositely charged sodium plus ncl ions are held together by electrostatic attraction forming an ionic bond and resulting in the formation of sodium chloride next is factors affecting the formation of ionic bonds first is ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy is the amount of energy required to remove an electron from the outermost shell of an isolated gaseous atom to convert it into a cation the lower the ionization enthalpy the easier it is to form a cation increasing the likelihood of forming an ionic bond this is why alkali metals have a greater tendency to form ionic bonds second is lattice energy or enthalpy lattice energy is the amount of energy required to separate one mole of an ionic compound into its constituent oppositely charged ions the lattice energy of an ionic compound depends on the following factors size of the ions smaller ions lead to greater lattice energy charge on the ions a greater magnitude of charge results in stronger interionic attraction hence higher lattice energy next is electron gain enthalpy electron affinity electron gain enthalpy is the energy released when an isolated gaseous atom gains an electron to form an anion the more negative the electron gain enthalpy the easier it is to form an anion thus increasing the likelihood of ionic bond formation covalent bond lewis langmuir concept when a bond is formed between two or more atoms through mutual contribution and sharing of electrons it is known as a covalent bond if the combining atoms are the same the covalent molecule is known as homoatomic if the atoms are different it is known as a heteroatomic molecule for example in the image both hydrogen atoms are same as they have one electrons similarly with oxygen and water formal charge in polyatomic ions the net charge is the charge on the ion as a whole not on a specific atom however charges can be assigned to individual atoms or ions and these are called formal charges where formal charges on an atom in a lewis structure is equal to total number of valence electrons in the free atom subtracted by total number of non bonding electron 
लोन पेयर सब्ट्रैक्टेड बाई वन बाय टू टाइम्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ बॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स शेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लेट एस कंसिडर द ओजोन मॉलिक्यूल ओ थ्री द एटम्स हैव बीन नंबर्ड एज वन टू थ्री सो द सेंट्रल एटम ओ मार्क्ड वन एज सिक्स विच इज टोटल नंबर ऑफ बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द फ्री एटम सब्ट्रैक्टेड टू विच इज टोटल नंबर ऑफ नॉन बॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन लोन पेयर सब्ट्रैक्टेड वन बाय टू टाइम्स सिक्स विच इज टोटल नंबर ऑफ बॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन शेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इज इक्वल टू प्लस वन नेक्स्ट इज बॉन्ड लेंथ बॉन्ड लेंथ इज द इक्विलिब्रियम डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द न्यूक्लियाई ऑफ टू बॉन्डेड एटम्स एंड इज एक्सप्रेस्ड इन एंगस्ट्रम्स ए इट कैन बी एक्सपेरिमेंटली डिटर्मिंड थ्रू एक्स रे और इलेक्ट्रॉन डिफ्रैक्शन मेथड्स बॉन्ड एंगल बॉन्ड एंगल इज द एंगल बिटवीन द लाइन्स रेप्रेजेंटिंग द ऑर्बिटल्स दैट कंटेन बॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इट हेल्प्स डिटर्मिन द शेप ऑफ अ मॉलिक्यूल एंड इज एक्सप्रेस्ड इन डिग्रीज बॉन्ड एंगल कैन बी डिटर्मिंड एक्सपेरिमेंटली बाय स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपिक मेथड्स बॉन्ड एंथेल्पी बॉन्ड एंथेल्पी इज द एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड टू ब्रेक वन मोल ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ बॉन्ड इन अ मॉलिक्यूल separating it into gaseous atoms bond enthalpy is also called bond dissociation enthalpy and is measured in kilojoules per mole the greater the bond enthalpy the stronger the bond for example the h dash h bond enthalpy in hydrogen is 435.8 kilojoules per mole bond enthalpy also depends on bond multiplicity a greater bond multiplicity leads to higher bond enthalpy for example the bond enthalpy of a cc bond is 347 kJ per mole while that of a cc bond is 610 kJ per mole in polyatomic molecules the term mean or average bond enthalpy is used next one is dipole moment dipole moment occurs in polar molecules and is defined as the product of the magnitude of the positive or negative charge and the distance between the charges where dipole moment mu is equal to charge q times by d distance of separation moving forward with the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory or vsepr theory in 1940 sidgwick and powell proposed a simple theory based on the repulsion between electron pairs in the valence shell of atoms further developed by neholm and gillespie in 1957 the main postulates are the shape of a molecule depends on the number of electron pairs bonded or non bonded around the central atom electron pairs repel each other because they are negatively charged and exist around the central atom electron pairs try to position themselves to minimize repulsion the valence shell is considered a sphere with electron pairs placed at maximum distance from each other a multiple bond is treated as if it is a single electron pair valence bond theory valence bond theory introduced by heitler and london 1927 and developed by pauling and others is based on atomic orbitals and the electronic configurations of atoms when two hydrogen atoms a and b come together attractive forces arise between the nucleus of one atom and its own electron as well as the electron of the other atom and vice versa at the same time repulsive forces arise between the electrons of both atoms and their nuclei attractive forces bring the atoms closer while repulsive forces push them apart next is hybridization hybridization is the process of intermixing orbitals of slightly different energies to form a new set of orbitals with equivalent energy and shape conditions necessary for hybridization valence shell orbitals participate in hybridization the orbitals involved should have nearly equal energy promotion of an electron is not a necessary condition before hybridization in some cases filled valence shell orbitals also participate types of hybridization first is sp hybridization 
when one s and one p orbital hybridize to form two equivalent sp hybrid orbitals this is called sp hybridization each hybrid orbital has 50% s character and 50% p character this type of hybridization is also known as diagonal hybridization second is p2 hybridization when one s and two p orbitals hybridize three equivalent sp2 hybrid orbitals are formed these orbitals are in the same plane and make an angle of 120 degrees examples include compounds like bf3 bh3 bcl3 and carbon compounds containing double bonds third is sp cubed hybridization when one s and 3p orbitals in the valence shell of an atom hybridize four equivalent sp cubed hybrid orbitals are formed each sp3 hybrid orbital has 25% s character and 75% p character and they are directed toward the four corners of a tetrahedron what is hydrogen bonding when highly electronegative elements like nitrogen oxygen or fluorine are bonded to hydrogen the electrons in the covalent bond are shifted toward the electronegative atom this creates a partial positive charge on the hydrogen atom which forms a weak bond with another electronegative atom this bond is known as a hydrogen bond and is weaker than a covalent bond for example in an hf molecule a hydrogen bond exists between the hydrogen atom of one molecule and the fluorine atom of another molecule types of hydrogen bonds no one intermolecular hydrogen bond formed between two different molecules of the same or different compounds for example in hf molecules and water molecules intramolecular hydrogen bond formed when a hydrogen atom is situated between two highly electronegative atoms f n o within the same molecule for example in o nitrophenol the hydrogen is between two oxygen atoms thank you for watching we will be dropping notes in the description of this video if you found this video helpful kindly like subscribe and share see you in the next video all the best for your exams